What's up everybody and welcome back to To The Kitchen today. We're gonna be doing a chicken bacon and ranch lasagna that I know you guys will love. It's hella easy to make and it was just simply delicious. So let's just get right to it. We're gonna start out by seasoning our chicken tenderloins with some Cajun seasoning, as well as some black pepper, also some garlic powder and onion powder. Once you've added all the seasonings, go ahead and mix it up nicely so all the flavors can incorporate, then put it aside so we can work on our onions. This recipe, I'm only using a half an onion, but if you wanna use more onion, that's perfectly fine. I'm just small dicing it, but if you like to also dice it a little bit larger, that works too, it's just all your preference. I cooked some bacon off camera and completely forgot to record, but I'm using the bacon grease to cook my chicken. You wanna make sure you cook it till it's nice and golden, but be sure not to burn it. After we're done cooking the chicken, go ahead and remove it from the pan so we can go ahead and throw our onions in there. We don't even really have to do much because all that onion will just help absorb all that leftover flavor. We're gonna cook our onions until they're nice and caramelized, and then afterwards we're gonna add our chicken back into the pan. Once we add our chicken back in the pan, we're gonna deglaze the pan with some liquid. I'm gonna use some chicken broth, but if you have some chicken stock, that's even better. And you could probably get away with using like maybe some water with some chicken bouillon. After you add your liquid, we're gonna go ahead and cover it and let that simmer for about 10 to 15 minutes. After about 10 to 15 minutes, you can see most of the liquid has evaporated and the chicken is extremely easy to break down. I'm just breaking it down with a silicone spatula here. We're gonna season the chicken now with some ranch seasoning mix. We're gonna be essentially making our own ranch sauce if you wanna call it that. I'm gonna let that saute for just a bit and let those flavors incorporate. Then I'm gonna add two cans of evaporated milk. Once we add our two cans of milk, we're gonna go ahead and bring this to a boil. And then once it comes to a boil, we're gonna take it down to a simmer so we can add four ounces of cream cheese. Once I add my cream cheese, I'm gonna go ahead and cover it and let it simmer so it can melt easier. And I'm just mix everything up. It should start to thicken up really nicely now and become nice and creamy. Now it's time to assemble our lasagna. Who needs non-stick spray when you have bacon grease? We're just gonna go ahead and brush the sides of our dish with bacon grease so the lasagna doesn't stick. I like to make my first layer the sauce so that the pasta doesn't burn. And I like to do that by just spreading it nice and evenly across. It doesn't have to be a super thick layer, but just enough to coat the bottom. Then I like to add a nice cheese layer. So at the end we get that sexy ass cheese pool. And then of course we're gonna add some lasagna pasta to the top. And then we're just gonna pretty much repeat the process over and over until we're completely out of the mix or until we fill up our dish. After we get to our top layer, we're just gonna hit it with one more final layer of cheese. Then of course, we gotta hit it with our bacon. Then finally, we're gonna go ahead and garnish it with some green onions. Once you added your green onions, we're gonna go ahead and put it in the oven on about 425 degrees uncovered for about 15 minutes. And this is what you should get. Man, this looks delicious. Now it's time for the part we've all been waiting for. It's time to cut our lasagna. I'm only cutting it into four pieces because I'm using the deep eight by eight dish. But if you want to cut it into smaller pieces, that's perfectly fine. You see that sexy ass cheese pool I was telling you about? We played our lasagna. I'm just gonna go ahead and hit it with some green onions for some added freshness. Then I'm gonna give it a try. 